Hi guys, welcome. This is Tamara Hergert. Thank you for listening. I am so excited you're here. Uh, if you'd like to get a free digital, digital copy of my book, Artist Success Mindset, please leave a review for our podcast. And the details are in the um, uh, episode's details. So uh, today I'll be talking about licensing your art and how to do that. And so let's begin. <laughs> Um, licensing your artwork is a great way to make money from your art and to get your work seen by um, a wider audience. So here are some tips on how to license your artwork. Uh, tip number one is define your terms. And which means that before you start licensing your artwork, it is important to define your terms. This includes what type of art you are willing to license and how much you are willing to charge and what rights you are willing to give up. And number two, uh, find potential uh, licensees, basically people who would license your art from you. Uh, once you know what you're willing to license, <laughs> you need to find potential uh, clients. Uh, that could be big brands. Um, if you're... Uh, if you're like August Rand, for example, who is Jennifer Orkin Lewis, I um, interviewed her uh, a while ago, and so you can then check out um, check out her um, profile through our website. Uh, she is listed in our artist interview. So she licenses her art to big brands, and she's an amazing artist. Um, so. Um, and sometimes she reaches out to big brands and sometimes uh, they reach out to her. Um, so basically think of what businesses, brands, or even individuals, individuals, um, people, uh, individuals or people could uh, potentially license your uh, art uh, for their purposes and, um, you know, um, try to network or attend trade shows for the merchandise that um, you think your art would look good on. And number three is create a licensing agreement. So it's important to know what conditions, condition, conditions today, my speech is not, <laughs> not working well. <laughs> I apologize. And um, so create a licensing agreement. Once you find a potential licensee, you need to create a licensing agreement. This agreement should outline the terms of the license, such as the type of art being licensed, the fees and the rights being granted. Consider taking um, our license your art masterclass if, you're, uh, if you need help with figuring out all the licensing agreements uh, provisions. Um, we, we will provide a template for you and also a checklist. Basically, it would be super helpful to um, have a negotiation checklist uh, handy every time you um, are ready to license your art. And so that's what uh, we will provide. And if you'd like to get a, uh, a just general, really good uh, uh, look at different options of license in your art, uh, then uh, that masterclass would be super valuable to you. And one more thing, uh, here's some additional tips that you may uh, find helpful um, when you are thinking of licensing your art. So marketing your art is really important, important because uh, once you have a licensing agreement in place, you need to market your art to potential clients. Uh, this could include a page on your website de dedicated just to art uh, licensing. For example, if you want to uh, st branch out uh, into, uh, um, for example, postcards, you uh, need to have a dedicated we uh, website page uh, that would just be your portfolio for your uh, postcard submissions. Because uh, uh, because you, you need to look super professional when you're submitting your art to them. And be clear about your goals also. Um, what do you want to achieve um, by licensing your artwork? 
um, do you want to make money do you want to create a really good revenue stream from licensing do you want to um, build a brand like Mary Engelbright <laughs> um, do you just want to get your work seen by a wider audience and do you want to promote your brand um, so once you know your goals, you can start uh, looking for potential clients who can help you achieve them. And of course, be professional when you approach uh, clients. It's important to be professional and means being organized, uh, responsive, prepared, respectful, and um, uh, also be respectful in everybody's time. And also be flexible. Be willing to negotiate with uh, potential licensees. For example, if um, you're doing your first project and it's your first ever project, and even even though uh, the pay or the fee may be low, I would always recommend take it because that one project um, will get you your next project because that's how you start building your portfolio and that's how you sort of get your foot in the door uh, um, you know with different brands and revenue streams and you know just you everybody starts somewhere you need to start somewhere and uh, most of, most of us we don't start making thousands or tens of thousands of dollars right off the bat you know wherever we go you just you start somewhere uh sometimes it's even free you know and and then it becomes highly paid <laughs> all of a sudden because that one free project creates really great photography for you that you can um, include into your portfolio and you can set fair price for it going forward uh for your next uh, clients and projects and then uh you know that's how it starts to roll uh and so also be patient with yourself and because it may take some time to find a potential licensee um or clients who are good fit for your art and who are willing to pay your asking price so don't get discouraged if you don't find a licensee right away just keep working hard and keep marketing your art um so licensing your artwork can be a great way to make money from your art and to get your work seen by uh, a much wider audience. So I hope you all found this helpful and I hope this increases your chances of success. So thank you for listening and I will uh, talk to you next time. Bye.